statements I made when I believed people would listen to me, at least as regards certain things which are important for us all. But now it makes no difference. But how come you are here at all? I mean in my hotel room. I haven't been visited by anyone for a very long time. Which paper will you be publishing this in? As a matter of fact, I'm a freelance reporter. Mr. Tesla, you were once a very wealthy man. You worked with J.P. Morgan, didn't you? We were given a great opportunity. And what was that opportunity? It had to do with the course mankind has chosen and the one it might have chosen, which would have led in a very different direction. Mr. Tesla, is it true that you once received some unidentified signals from space? In Colorado Springs. I have already made a very full statement on that. And when was that? At a press conference at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. That was in 1890. Just one more question, if you don't mind. At one time, you worked very closely with George Westinghouse and Thomas Edison. Is it true that you gave up $10 million owed to you by Westinghouse? Young man, Edison and Westinghouse are very different men. George and I still see each other often. Mr. Tesla, George Westinghouse is dead. He died a long time ago. I suppose you're going to tell me that Mark Twain is dead too. Well, he's been dead for over 30 years, Mr. Tesla. It's 1943, you know. Well, you see, I was speaking to him just yesterday. But the man I really want to talk to is Morgan. And now, young man, I should be grateful if you would leave. Thank you very much, Mr. Tesla. Morgan. The others, they are always happy to speak with me. But Morgan, after all these years, he still refuses to answer. All these terrible things, they need never have happened. I told him that. I showed him what the world could be. He'd let me know, he said, when he was ready. I'm still waiting.
Welcome to the United States of America. Next. żebym Cię żadnym grzechem nie obraziła. Ofiaruję Ci wszystkie moje myśli, słowa i uczynki, pracę i modlitwy dzisiejszej. Obłogosław ją, mój Boże. Tutti i bambini sono sani. Sono già stati visitati in Italia sul piroscafo. Tutti noi siamo sani, signore. Mai nessuno della nostra famiglia è stato malato. Ecco, qui ci sono tutti a cuore. Il signore è domandato se siete voi responsabili di tutti questi bambini. Che domanda? Chi altro si, chi altro si potrebbe occupare dei miei bambini? Per loro sono venuto in America, per Dio. There you are. Welcome to the United States. Grazie, signore. Avanti, avanti bambini. Adesso siamo in America. Tutto questo ora è nostro. Piccola Tesla, from Paris. Avanti, bambini. Born in Smiljan, Croatia, Austria. And how big a family have you got? No family at all, I have not met. Ah. All right, you're all set. Welcome to the United States of America, Mr. Tesla. Thank you very much, sir. All right, who's next? like magic, Tom. Every time I hear that voice writer of yours, it just seems more wonderful than ever. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I've got a new name for it. The phonograph. What do you think? Whatever you call it, it's another one of your miracles. Maybe the greatest. You know, Bob, you're old friends, you and Catherine. I feel I can confide in you. I've got a hunch that this Niagara project could be about as important as anything I've ever done. You're the only man on earth who could pull it off. We can be sure of that. Sorry to bother you folks. Uh, yes, Al, what is it? It's that fellow from France. He was here yesterday, but you were too busy. Now he's back again. Well, I'm busy again. Tell him to try early next week. Poor man, don't put him off because of us. Uh, it seems like every inventor in Europe is heading straight for America. He has a letter for you, from the manager of your company in Paris. Oh. Well, okay, okay. Uh, let him in. Mr. 
Mr. Tesla. Mr. Edison will see you now. Hi, young fella. This the letter? Yes, Mr. Edison. Well, it says here, this will introduce Mr. Nikola Tesla. 